you have a new Houston? one? Houston? That's not gonna work. We've got a problem. So, seen us pull the old tow truck in. We haven't used it for a bit. It's not wounded, but it's kind of wounded. We're changing the rocker arms. It has aluminum rockers on it. I'm gonna put these stainless steel rockers in here. I've had some problems with it breaking these little ears off the guide plates. So, they say that the old aluminum ones are like bending a little and deflecting, and that's what's breaking this. So, we're gonna fix all of that and see if that fixes our problem. Oh yeah. And this bronze distributor gear. That should fix all of those problems. That's what they told me, we'll see. We've done this a couple of times now. We've been in here for two broken guide plates so far. And then Ben pulled the distributor last time and we found that problem. So I guess it's a normal big block thing. I didn't realize it when I built this big block. We may be putting an LS in this bad boy here before long, because I don't know how long I'm gonna put up with this problem. I think we'll pull the distributor first. Okay. Deal with that, put it back in so that we don't lose. Everything's where it should be. Doesn't lose time. Oh yeah. We'll put these in the in the big holes here that plug these up. That's a smart idea. creator. Fart that hunter. Bad today. Holy crap! Dude, I'm soaking in with you. I ah. punished myself. <laughs> it, Dude, that's bad. That yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> you just stay up there. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is bad. If there was smell o vision, the people at home would be gagging too, Hunter. They'd be like, Bleh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna mark the distributor where it's currently at so that hopefully it doesn't get off time when we pull it out. We're gonna mark right there with that. Maybe, maybe hand me an air blower. Okay. I'm gonna blow that. Make sure we don't drop anything down the... I'll leave that hose on a minute, man. All right, she's coming out. Oh, that was tight. Nothing else. I'm gonna make sure it didn't come out again. It wasn't gonna move, was it? That's really inconvenient to get to. Definitely wearing that gear out. You can see the wear on it. Pretty significant. Wonder if we cut a bigger passage in that. It's pretty sharp, isn't it? Oh yeah. Compared to those thick ones. Yeah. Supposedly that has to do with the billet cam that put, got put in it. Running on it. This doesn't like running against billet. Really? Is what? I don't know. It's been a million different ideas. They all suck. Yeah. <laughs> that it all is the outcome is well the cam yeah well because just of big block valve train that's what everyone tells you so, so you just pound the roll pin out yep push a roll pin out put a new roll pin in it put it back on Houston? 
That's not gonna work. We've got a problem. So is that for stock distributor? And that's <laughs> throttle body? I don't know. Gosh. Why is it always like that? I yeah. got some. That's exactly I've got some line. bad words to say right now. <laughs> yeah, the shafts are a little bigger on stock distributors. Jesse hooked us up today. He's seen Hunter struggling with his pocket knives. And he sent us one of these. One for all of us, so thank you, Jesse. All right, so I ordered this here thing that supposedly fixed all my problems. It doesn't fix any because it doesn't fit. They don't, we've, I've done some reading currently. They don't make a bronze gear that fits this small TBI style distributor. So we're reduced to old parts. We're gonna take this one off, put it on there, and we'll be back to work in no time. So until it's bad, and then we'll put another bad one on it and keep the cycle going until we put an LS in this thing. <laughs> Might as well put all that stuff on it, right? How's job? Probably not put it on backwards. All right. All right, good as new. So we're gonna drop this distributor back in with this new gear on it and see what the heck happens. LS is looking better and better all the time. That's pretty close to where everything was at. And it fell back into the distributor. So I guess that's what it is right there. Sucks, Hunter. Just in case you're wondering, whoever built this put it in a really bad spot right there. Yeah, it's tight. Okay, it's in. Why didn't they put it in the front like a Ford so you can work on it? Did you just compliment Ford? No, I was making a joke. I, yeah, I was making a I was joke. I gonna say. Okay, distributor back in. Wired her plug back in. I think I'll put the cap on it and we'll fire it up. Holy cow. We have candles. Look at they that. put a candle really? on. Hot peppers for Hunter. He likes the hot. Um, yeah, Hunter likes hot. This row and this and the little ones are just. So it's Sean's oh, birthday right. today. Yeah. And his Turn wife up. brought us all lunch today. So thanks for having a birthday, Sean. <laughs> Tomorrow, nice. let's have another. <laughs> <laughs> Thank now, you. I found some uh, candles for you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Get out of here. Light them up. <laughs> All right, we got the valve cover off, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pull all of these off, and then we'll go through and adjust them back up, put the new ones on it. So supposedly these are deflecting, causing me my, my issues. I'm having a hard time believing it, but I got nothing else to go off of other than that, so... The process now is to turn the motor over till we've got number two here, top dead center, valves closed. We'll change those and then just work our way back, put it back together, do this side. So it's gonna be pretty long and boring, but we'll hurry through it. She's got compression. Well, it turns one little clicker at a time. It's usually easier to lift it up, I think, and turn it from the bottom. There was some method of madness, wasn't there? I think we'll lift it up. Let me see. 
Yeah. Which one's got to be where? Okay, you're up on the cylinder. Both of them are up? Yep. Okay, you're up on it. Okay. Okay, we can do one of them now. Those two we can do, right? Yep. Alright, we'll let it back. Okay. There's that. There's that. Those all look good. We'll change some parts. What are they made out of? It's gonna fix it. Let's bad. be optimistic. Let's <laughs> bad bad. Come on. Yeah. We had a bad batch. <laughs> did I shake enough that you it's did tight? A little bit, yep. Okay. That means it's tight, Hunter. That was, that was the clicks. Yep. How many? How much shake per minute? That's what you get. <laughs> so that's the same as a small block? Yeah. As soon as it stops a half? Yep. Look at that, there's two. Now all we have uh, left is all of them still. So we'll go through and get those done and fire it up and see if it runs right. All right, one side is all done. It's all buttoned up. We're gonna put the gasket back on this thing and seal it up, move to the other side and do it. Orange is heat resistant. It's supposed to be. I've seen it on roadkill. They never lie, right? Nope. I've got way too much here, just in case you were wondering. We are going to make a mess of this motor. Sorry, Merlin. Your masterpiece is that I've been cursing all day. It's gonna be ugly with red silicone but it won't leak oil I would rather have silicone scattered about than an oil leak in your case you get both maybe <laughs> <laughs> uh, way to be optimistic Hunter that's why we keep you around here your optimism not only you suck a little bit you suck at all of it <laughs> That's basically what you just told no, me, isn't it? No, it's just your luck. Okay. It's going to work. It's going to be good. Okay, we're about to have oh, orange I'm... all over. Okay. One side's officially all done. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the other side. We'll hurry and knock it out and then we'll fire this thing up and see what she does. Well, I took the advice of the late and great Bob Barker. Bob Barker reminding you, help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody. Socks went and got neutered. Got his boys. Look at him. He's so cute. Doesn't know what to do now. Poor little I'm still trying to identify right now. <laughs> Welcome to America. Thanks, Lux. Yeah, like he, like he may be under the influence right now. He's got the munchies over there. We got this side all done, going back together. All right, we'll have this thing fired up in a short minute, I hope. And we'll know if everything's happy. And 
big block land. This is the first one that broke. It's been welded. Uh, I wish we had a new one here. They kind of, these ones bend up. They're not flat like these ones are. The new one side by side was easy to tell. See how chewed up that is? Can you see it? It's probably. So it looks good except for that flat spot. You can tell it's just been sitting this one's all chewed up. It's got a mark in the middle. And they walk side to side really bad. That one was almost locked up. It's a good thing we switched them. They, uh, they were worse than we thought. All right, valve covers are on. We'll put the plug wires on it and fire it up and see what she sounds like. Air cleaner and Plug that in. I feel like I've been up this ladder a bunch of times today. You have. Did you get that stuff out of there? Yeah. Okay. I did. But good call. That, that would have sucked. I'm glad you you remembered that. Okay. Fire it up. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna put it in park though. Because we've seen what happens if you don't do that, right? He's gonna yell, turn it on! Because <laughs> we were screwing with the shifter. That was my fault right there. <laughs> like no, 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 I didn't do nothing. I think that did. No. <laughs> It's super hard to get these adjusted right once you've had the lifter pressured up. So we'll pull it back off and roll through the firing order again and tighten them again. I thought about just spinning it over with them off. <laughs> Would've been the smart thing to do. We don't do that around here. This uh, rocker right here has got some, some issues. Why wouldn't it have issues, right?
feel like it's on this side now. Yeah, this side sounds pretty quiet. Yeah, it does, it? it sounds a lot better. Even with the, co the cover off doesn't make it louder, does it? Yeah. Echoes or... We'll have to pull on the other side and, and go through it. Found the loose one. These things do not have any threads for the lock nut. Makes me a hair nervous here. Okay. I guess we'll just put the fuel line on and put the fuel line on and fire it up and we'll just make sure they're quiet. I've got oil all over everything. I gotta clean it so it'll seal, but it sounds good. I just have to put her back together. One on each side I missed. Just got off somehow. Yep. All right, new morning. Morning. <laughs> new morning. New morning. Still working on the old tow truck. So we're gonna put some new beadlock rings on it. Some aluminum ones that protect the bolts a little. I'll show you. So that's the old one. This here is the new one. And it has a little bit of a centering ring where the old one doesn't. I'll show you what it has. So a little better, a better quality. So we're upgrading as we go on the old girl. This is pretty, pretty easy. I'm not gonna show you the whole process. We might time lapse it or something. All right, one bead lock, done. So I got four more, well, three more, because we built one for a spare. We're gonna put it on, use one of these for a spare. So I'll get going. look better don't they? They look good. Yeah I think that improves. They're gonna be tougher too. They won't, the bolts won't get beat off of like broken off and stuff. Kind of got a little protector in there so. What's the magic number? 25 work for you? Yeah. The trans leak, I think, was the pan. We tightened it up a little bit, and we're gonna run it and watch it, which is code name for I don't want to fix it today. So we'll work on it another day. We're gonna let this down. Go take it for a rip. Ah. 
How do you do this? It's Hunter. How'd they make it easier? It's pretty easy if you know how to do it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to do it. How do you play it? Holy cow. All right, we played with the, with the stereo a little bit. It still works. We're gonna go for a rip, see how she runs. driving the old girl again. tow truck she's back up running again running good we know that we're gonna have some problems with that distributor gear it's the oil pressure causing the problems it's probably gonna get an LS motor in it don't hate me for it but she's probably gonna get LS swapped one of these days but not right now we're gonna put this thing to use and keep on pulling people out so thanks for watching